Hey, what's going on everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I got some more AFL news to talk about, so without further ado, let's get straight into it. So initially today I was actually going to record a video about Tom Papley saying what team should he go to, but we actually got some breaking news that has just recently come out saying that Tom Papley has actually nominated Colton as his preferred club to be traded to. Now, this is extremely interesting to me as I'm not too sure why he wants to come home so badly considering all the stuff that's been floating around with Sydney at the moment. Sydney could literally get Joe Danaher in the offseason pretty much straight away and I think the deal will 100% get done but the thing is doing that they could get the deal done pretty easily in my opinion and then still look for other players to trade for etc but now they've got to handle this whole Tom Papley situation which means you know Probably a player, another player they could get in the offseason, they might not be able to get now because they're too busy worrying about this Tom Papley situation. And it's just kind of a little bit strange to me because I think Sydney are really setting themselves up for something really good. They've just had a bunch of players retired. I don't think they're stressing on any cap situation. So they could pretty much get Danaher in and maybe another player here and there and then keep Papley. But instead, Papley has actually nominated Carlton for a trade, which I think is kind of a little bit weird, but yeah, it's also interesting to say that he's not going to North at all, so it's either going to be Sydney or Carlton from what it looks like, so North Melbourne, again, a very disappointing off-season straight away for them, considering they've struck out on another free agent, not a, necessarily a big-name free agent, but they've struck out on a free agent, which, again, I'm not going to list the players that they've struck out in previous years, because I'm sure most of you guys all know them at this point, but yeah, it looks like Colton has been the club to be nominated, and Colton right now, I think, have pick eight, which will most likely get pushed back to pick nine, because Gold Coast are being given pick number two from the AFL, most likely. It's actually really weird how they haven't been given that pick just yet. The AFL are definitely taking their time to decide whether or not to give them that pick or not, and obviously, it's 100% yes, they desperately need that pick, so I don't know why it's taking so long, but yeah, I'm guessing that Carlton are going to have pick 9, which is actually from Adelaide. As I said, right now they have pick 8, and this is what they will most likely be using to trade for Papley. So, I actually don't really know what pick Sydney have. Let's just say they will have 11 or something. So, Sydney will have 11 and 9, most likely, to trade for Joe Danaher. I don't know if they'll be using both picks or what Essendon are going to be, you know, wanting back from them. But, yeah, they could literally... Essendon could, you know, just say oh, we want pick 11, your original pick. But now that, you know, Tom Papley is going to be traded for that high pick, Essendon might just go, hey, hold on a minute. We want both of your picks now that you have them. And then, yeah, and that's going to cause a lot of confusion as well. Sydney are probably going to get very angry. It's going to take more time on that. And again, it's going to take more... Uh, more time off Sydney, potentially contacting other free agents and luring them in. So Tom Papley has really put Sydney in a very difficult decision. If I was Sydney, I would just say to him, look, we want to get Joe Danaher. We potentially want to get another free agent here and there. You're contracted to the club. You're staying as a Sydney Swans player. That's what I would potentially say to Tom Papley because, yeah, it's just extremely interesting that he's picked this time and scenario to look for a trade. He could have done it last year when it was clear that Sydney were most likely go going to go on the downfall and they weren't going to get any free agent after Jeremy McGovern re-signed with West Coast. But no, he's decided to do it here and put Sydney in a very difficult situation. Now, if you want to know who reported this, it was actually Sam McClure. And he is very good on his, you know, trade news and trade knowledge. So, yeah, very trustable source. And he also did it on um, AFL Trade Radio, I believe. Uh, so, yeah, it's a very trustable source. It's 100% pretty much confirmed. He has nominated Carlton. And, yeah, he's put Sydney in a very difficult situation, as I said, because Sydney, once they get Danaher and another free agent, whoever that is, they're probably going to see themselves as a top eight team. But now that Papley goes out of the team, and they're most likely going to have to give up an extra pick now to get Danaher because Essendon are probably going to persuade them to, or they're not going to get Danaher for another year, really. Yeah, it's going to be a very difficult situation. The worst case scenario for Sydney, which could possibly happen, is Tom Papley actually leaves the club, goes to Carlton, uh, Sydney get pick 9, Essendon pretty much contacts Sydney, like, hey, we want pick 9-11 now. 
it's going to be a very dodgy situation. Let's just say Sydney don't actually go through with the trade. Sydney might not actually get any free agent in the offseason, and they will have just lost Tom Papley, which means they're most likely going to be even worse, and Buddy doesn't really have that many years left. It's gonna be a oh, it's it's gonna be a very interesting situation. But the thing is, they could actually come out with no Joe Danaher at this point. If I was Sydney, and you know Tom Papley, he officially goes to Colton. Essendon want those two picks. I would even almost say, hey, we don't want Danaher just yet. Then we'll wait till he goes out of contract, and then we'll offer him a contract, and then he'll most likely be restricted. And then I'm guessing Joe Danaher will still want to come to Sydney next year. Then Sydney can pretty much offer... Uh, Essendon will most likely, you know, match the offer. And then Sydney will have to offer their pick next year. Which if, you know, Sydney lose Tom Papley, they've lost all these retired players. Let's just say they don't get any free agents. They're going to be most likely even worse and probably one of the worst teams in the competition. Let's just say they have pick four. They could potentially trade pick four for Joe Danaher, and then they would still have that pick nine slash 11 or whatever it's going to be, um, players from the previous draft. And then, yeah, you can set up something really good. Then you bring in Joe Danaher in 2020 off season or the 2020 trade period, and maybe another free agent then, whoever's on the cards then, and then you still got your pick nine and 10 from the previous, or pick nine and 11 from the previous years. That's how I would look at it. I'm not too sure because Tom Papley, as I said, has put Sydney in a very desperate and weird situation here. Does this mean the Joe Danaher deal is less likely going to happen? Who really knows? But I think it's every chance to potentially happen still. I just think that Sydney, if they were smart, they might take things, you know, a little bit differently now that Tom Papley will officially be out, and then Essendon will most likely want those two first rounders that they have. But anyway, I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for all the latest AFL content. Don't forget to comment in the comment section down below. What are your thoughts and opinions on Tom Papley nominating Carlton as his preferred club? Do you think it puts Sydney in a very interesting situation? I definitely would really like to know your thoughts and opinions down below. And tell me what you guys think this means for North Melbourne. I didn't really talk much about them, but North Melbourne are now in an even worse situation. Again, most likely not going to be getting any free agents in this offseason. So definitely comment in the comment section. What do you think? I'm sure they might get a couple plays here and there, but probably not as good as Tom Papley or whatever. But yeah, definitely comment what you think there. And also don't forget to subscribe to my gaming channel and my IRL site vlogging channel. Link in the description down below. So make sure you guys leave a like, subscribe, and comment. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.